don't know if you guys can see this, but it took a while for the dust to accumulate. For those of who, who know me, um, I can kind of peek up here too. I have 20 birds inside my home, um, which makes dusting a challenge. Hey everybody, it's Shannon Miller, and today I have a little bit of history for you. Approximately 146 years ago, a woman named Susan Hibbard applied for a patent on the very first turkey feather duster. Unfortunately, it took um, almost two years to get that patent in place, not because the patent office was particularly busy in the 1800s, but because she was battling it out in court with her husband over the rights to the patent. You know, three, two brothers came on the scene, Harry and George Beckner, who created the very first ostrich feather, feather duster. They were from Johannesburg, South Africa, and came here to America, opened up a factory, and that factory was um, is still operating today. They hand make feather dusters. Um, you can go to Beckner.com and um, check out the little bit of history. Um, I did put an inquiry in for an interview for my YouTube channel. We'll see if I actually get something or not, which would be pretty exciting for me because I'm geeky that way. But I'm in. I don't know if you can see them. I get them at the local grocery store. I recommend that if you are going to give your crew feather dusters that you make them purchase their own, um, you can go through a lot of pe um, feather dusters because your employees just are going to lose them everywhere. It's just what happens. I lost my feather duster. I couldn't dust and then they get a complaint. Um, these are about $10, $12. You can get the Mercedes Benz of feather dusters for about 50 bucks. It'll last you about a year. And um, it just depends on use and frequency. So commercial use, I like these little $10 jobbers. And um, when we were in the height of the pandemic, um, I actually washed these and then we let them air dried because I had several of them. So we were able to s disinfect and then wash dry and then air dry because you can't wash them in a washer. The glue will come out. Anyway, um, let me quickly show you how to use a feather duster. So we're going to get this shelf right here. I don't know if you can see, but we're going to lift and wipe, tap, lift and wipe, tap. And then we're gonna get this guy right here, get this guy right here, tap, move this guy out of the way, tap. When you're feather dusting, you don't wanna go like this, like you see in a lot of those commercials. They just go back and forth and they're just fluttering it about. It's not gonna actually pick up any of the dust. Um, these are not really where they pick up the dust at, it's actually these little fingers right here on the side. So you just kinda of wanna swish and wipe swish and wipe and then tap. Thus concludes today's lesson on how to feather dust. Thanks for tuning in.